Okay, um, here's the question that's outstanding. It's a redox uh, reaction calculation. And um, before we delve into um, just solving it, let's, um, let's think about the question. Um, so we, if we read the first uh, sentence here, then uh, we can see that uh, we've, got some, we've got a reaction going on. We've got a vanadium reaction going on. Uh, this is vanadate, of course, this ion here. And it's reacting with uh, sulfur dioxide. And you see they've, they've not called it sulfur dioxide. They've called it sulfur four oxide. Uh, so they're including the oxidation number of sulfur there. I suppose there's a little clue. You know, that would be a deliberate decision to describe sulfur dioxide like sulfur four oxide. Um, I don't know if they intend that to be a clue, but uh, you can take it as a clue if you like. Um, so uh, it's, it's a redox reaction. Um, you can either see that straight off from the first sentence or um, you can... Uh, Notice this term here, oxidation state of the uh, vanadium in the reduction reaction, um, as further clues as to it's a redox reaction. So um, it's going to be similar to um, the redox reactions of uh, iron 2 plus ions with, um, with our manganate. Um, okay, uh, again, before we delve into the solution of it, let's have, a, let's have another unpick of it. Um, We've got some vanadium at the top, and we've got a, we've got um, a volume of liquid because we, we've got a solution here, and we've got um, a concentration of that solution. All right, so we're going to use moles equals concentration over uh, volume, concentration equals moles over volume rather, to uh, to work out moles of one, and you're going to use ideal gas. You can see from this data here, you're going to need the ideal gas equation to work out moles of your sulfur dioxide. Um, and out of these six marks, uh, two of them already are coming from just calculating the moles of each of uh, the vanadate and the sulfur dioxide. Um, and they're, they're two fairly easy marks. Um, whether or not we get the last of these marks, which I think after this explanation, you will be able to get them. Um, okay, so moving on to this, the second paragraph here, using the information to calculate the oxidation state of vanadium. Um, now you'll remember uh, that, uh, that vanadium has several oxidation states, and in this one here, in the vanadate ion, we're talking about oxidation 5, and in class we reduce uh, vanadate 5 um, down to its uh, lower reduction number, oxidation number, um, states and uh, each of them has a different color. You remember we did we do that in class. Um, and I think Shivani had a nice acronym for all the different colors as well, didn't she? Which I won't repeat here. So we're going to uh, remember that uh, we're reducing vanadium and therefore we're oxidizing sulfur dioxide. Now here's, here's something that you're going to need to just know. When you oxidize uh, sulfur dioxide, uh, you make it into sulfate. Right? You just have to know that. You're going to come across that in the um, uh, contact process. Um, and so here the oxidation number is 4. And here the oxidation number is 6. All right, so we've got a transfer of two electrons. Um, and, uh, and that's something you just need to know to be able to do this question. So by now, I think we know that vanadium is being reduced. Okay, so vanadium is being reduced. Um, and we know already from this that it's uh, being reduced from 5 to... And that's the question, isn't it? That's the question that we're being asked. That's the exam question. So that means the sulfur is being oxidized from, we've, we know the answer from there, from four to six. Uh, so that is a transfer, that there is a transfer of two electrons uh, per, per mole of sulfur. Um, 
and why don't we, I'll just change colour, why don't we actually write in the uh, compounds, we've got VO3 minus and we don't know what it's been reduced to, we've got SO uh, well let's write it over here, we've got SO2 to SO4 to minus, we've got uh, VO3 minus to uh, which one we don't know now, conceptually, what we need to understand is that um, we, need, we need to work out how many moles of electrons is sulfur giving up. How many moles of electrons is sulfur giving up. All right, and we also need to know how many moles of vanadium is accepting these. How many moles of vanadium are accepting these electrons? Yeah, if we knew those, then we'd be able to work out the oxidation state. Right, so for example, let's change color, let's do an example. If um, sulfur was given up one mole of electrons, and if one mole of vanadium was accepting those electrons, then the oxidation state changes by one. All right, it would go from uh, five to um, Four. And let's do a different example. If, for example, it was uh, if sulfur was given up two moles of electrons, which in fact it is, and one mole of uh, vanadium was accepting those, then the oxidation state would change by two, and therefore the oxidation state of vanadium would go from five to three. Okay, so that's that's the conceptual point that you need to understand really before we start the question. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, actually go through working out, uh, doing all the calculations. So here's the exam question with a bit of space and uh, what we'll do is we'll first of all work out the uh, moles of each. Uh, so starting in any order, let's do uh, vanadium first. What you can see from this compound here, ammonium vanadate, is that uh, you've got um, one mole of vanadium per one mole of ammonium vanadate. Okay, so therefore moles of vanadium um, is going to be concentra concentration times volume, where concentration is uh, 0.8 zero zero and volume is 50 cm cubed but we need dm cubed so we'll do we'll divide by a thousand there and that comes out to be um, four times ten to the minus two um, and now we're going to work out the moles of uh, sulfur dioxide Okay, we used the uh, ideal gas from that, rearrange the ideal gas uh, for moles, and you're going to have PV, equal, uh, PV over RT. Substitute in those values, I'll let you do that um, on your own, but uh, when you do that, you're going to get 2.04 times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, now these numbers don't... Um, these numbers 2.04 times 10 to the minus 2 and 4 times 10 to the minus 2 in themselves they don't um, mean anything what's the what the important thing is the is the ratio um, from one to the other so you can see uh, that um, twice as much of vanadium reacts with uh, sulfur dioxide 4 is twice 2 now the next thing to uh, start thinking about is the uh, transfer of electrons. How many electrons are being transferred? And uh, we know that uh, the electrons are coming from 
the sulfur dioxide. So this is the one that's giving up the uh, electrons and this is accepting the electrons. This has been reduced. Right, how many? Okay, so um, uh, this is the exam question and to answer the exam question we have to work this out first. Um, so we're going to write down the uh, sulfur dioxide reaction. When sulfur dioxide is oxidized it's going to go to sulfate and in the process it gives up two electrons. You can see that because um, as we know already, sorry to repeat myself, uh, we've got an oxidation state of uh, plus four here and plus six here. So in fact, I should write my um, electrons on the other side. Sorry about that. So the moles of electrons um, released in this reaction equals um, our moles of sulfur dioxide that uh, reacted. 2.04 times 10 to the minus 2 and for each mole we can see from the uh, equation here that two electrons are uh, released per mole so uh, that times that is your 4.08 times 10 to the minus 2 electrons and those electrons have been uh, accepted by how many moles of vanadium? So let's, uh, that's up at the top and top right hand corner. So 4.00 times 10 to the minus 2 moles vanadium have accepted these electrons. Right, and uh, 4.08 times 10 to the minus 2 divided by 4.00 times 10 to the minus 2 is approximately equal to 1. So we can say that uh, 1 mole vanadium accepts 1 mole of electrons. Therefore, oxidation state vanadium changes by one new oxidation state vanadium is therefore um, four because it was five and that will get you six out of six and hopefully conceptually you've understood the, uh, the processes that we've gone through.